We welcome you today to our video Bites of Bread here at St. John Lutheran Church in the town of Center. What is today? What special event are we celebrating today? Well, today is Ascension, the Ascension of our Lord and our Savior. You remember that? That's 40 days after Jesus came out of the grave, he physically went back to heaven. As his disciples watched, his angels reminded him that he was going, but he would come back. Why is ascension so important? And what does it really mean to us today? Who, who really cares if Jesus ascended back into heaven? But for us as Christians, we realize that today is a very important day in the life of us here on this earth, but also in our life for eternity in heaven. So maybe I will start by asking a few questions. Is Jesus really in control of this world? You might look around and say, well, there was just innocent children killed in a classroom, or there is a virus which has taken a million lives here in the United States of America. There's wars in Ukraine, there is people shot in the streets of Milwaukee and Madison and Green Bay and, and the Fox Valley. Is Jesus really in control? We confess every week as we say the creed, I believe in Jesus, and then we say, who ascended back into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God. Do you understand what those words mean? We say them on a weekly basis. Yes, he ascended, he sits at the right hand of God, but what does that mean? As we gather today and think about ascension, let's imagine what it is that Jesus sits at the right hand of God. Jesus is the right hand man, the position of power. It is not a place. He's not in the literal right hand of God, but Jesus is in heaven ruling with all power and might over all things in heaven and on earth. Now, why is that important? Listen to the words as John tells us in John chapter 14. John writes, In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I am going to prepare a place for you, and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and take you to be with me, so that you may also be where I am. Do you grasp the power of those words? Jesus ascended back into heaven, and he says, I am in my Father's house in heaven, and it's like a mansion. And it is beautiful and it is wonderful and it is perfect where there is no sin and sadness and there's no more problems like this world there are not mass killings in heaven there is not a sickness that kills millions of lives there is not trouble on the streets there is not worries in our hearts but the best part of this ascension is what does jesus remind us that's what he went to heaven to do to prepare a place for us and did you get the promise he said if i'm going to go and prepare a place for you I am going to come back again and take you to be with me so that you may be where I am. That's the key part to this verse. We've had a number of funerals here at church this last month, three of them right in a row. And as you think about funerals, we could find them as days of sadness and days of tears, days of wondering where God is, days of wondering if Jesus knows what is really going on. And it is interesting as you look at the funeral of a Christian who trusts in Jesus, who went to prepare in place, it is different, isn't it? Because we know that our loved one is in heaven. My mother-in-law went home to heaven this month, 93 years old, just over 90, just turned 93 years old. She was a Christian in her heart. She raised her children to be Christians and her grandchildren and great-grandchildren. But you know what? It wasn't a day of sadness for very long. Yes, my, my wife misses her mom very dearly. And yes, we, we all will miss her for a short time on this earth. But the ascension of Jesus reminds us that he is in heaven preparing a place and now that place is ready and now he took her home to heaven. The same for those other loved ones that we talked about this month who died, Mr. Jim Maine and Mr. Jim LaBeouf. God called him home to heaven to the mansions he prepared when he ascended back into heaven. But what about us? We, we sit on this side of heaven. The promise is the same for you and me. I went and I ascended and I sit at the right hand of God, and I'm preparing that place for you. And one day we will see those loved ones again, the people we miss here on earth, but we will see for eternity in heaven. He's gonna come back and send his angels to bring us to heaven. That's what the ascension of Jesus reminds us. He is ruling over all things, life and in death and for eternity. So ascension might seem like just a minor day. We don't have anything special planned for ascension day, but the ascension of Jesus is beautiful. It is powerful. It reminds us that our home is not here. Jesus ascended back to heaven to remind us our home is in heaven. 
and he is ruling at the right hand of God. What does that mean? In power and might and strength and glory. And isn't that the truth? Jesus knows my troubles. Jesus knows my sorrow. Jesus knows when I am sad. Jesus knows when I am weak. But Jesus also is in control. And in the middle of the mess of this world, that ascended Lord still is ruling. He is ruling through his word, which is powerful and mighty. He is ruling through his powerful gospel, which brings us to salvation through faith in Christ. He is ruling every time we come to Lord's Supper to eat his body and drink his blood, together with that bread and wine for the forgiveness of our sins. He is ruling when we remember our baptism, which changed us and made us a child of God, so that we would be heirs of heaven. He is ruling when he points us back to the cross to see that Jesus did do everything we couldn't, and that he ascended to prepare a beautiful place for us. As we live in this world, keep our eyes mainly focused on that wonderful joy of heaven. Help us to remind ourselves we, we are not living here on earth permanently, but we have this beautiful place called heaven where our ascended Lord rules and where our ascended Lord will come one day to bring us so that we can be to that joyous place called heaven where we too can celebrate with our loved ones forever and forever. That's what the ascension of our Lord means. Let's pray. Dear Lord and Savior, we thank you for coming to this world, living for 33 years, and then ascending back into heaven to take full use of your power and might and the promise that you will rule over all things in heaven and on earth for our eternal good. Remind us to keep our eyes focused on heaven where you will come again to bring us to the joys of eternal life in heaven. Help us to see you as ascended Lord who is all powerful and almighty and all knowing who watches over every part of my heart and life. Guide me and strengthen me as you are our ascended Lord who sits at the right hand of God. God's blessings to you as we live in a sinful world strengthened and led and forgiven by a gracious God. Take care.